get out of here. So guys, this is how it feels to be the average Elden Ring player. <laughs> Look at people go. <laughs> what a player, dude. Dude, I am getting the full Elden Ring experience right now. I feel so accomplished. So this is how it feels to play with your friends. It's so much fun. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god damn it, man. I'm so lucky to have such good friends. It makes the game so enjoyable. Shout out to the From Software Phantom Scaling for both PvE and PvP. Would not have been able to do it without that. There you go. Dude, thank you guys. It was great to carry all of you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Seriously though, isn't that insane? How no matter... Like... No matter what your teammates are using, you do nothing. You just do nothing if you're playing with someone over level. You don't even need to participate. Like this is seriously impressive stuff. Like now I understand why so many, of the, so many of the people we invade are so bad. Like it starts to make sense once you experience yourself how it feels to be carried by a bunch of overleveled phantoms. I let my good friends handle it for me, which are not doing any damage right now. I'll just play um, like the like the devs intended me to play. I think I'm doing a pretty good job at not getting hit. <laughs> Honestly, our team is doing surprisingly well given how none of our summons have like cheese builds. Like RT has a moonlight, which is a pretty strong weapon for a boss like this. But aside from that, both of them are using fairly honest setups. This is why you don't understand when people say that this game is too hard. Uh, it's just staggering the difference between if you play this game alone, if you play this game with your friends that are the same level as you, or if you play the game with your friends that are higher level than you. Like the game is ridiculously easy in co-op and it becomes a joke if you have over level phantoms on your side. I also think that's partly due because status is not balanced for team fights. Status is balanced for like uh, when you're alone with the boss. Like when you have multiple people doing status build up here, it just destroys the bosses too quickly, I think. Dude, well played everyone. That was amazing. Dude, I probably took the least amount of hits out of my entire team, which must mean I played the best. But thank you, RT and Baby Turtle. You guys still did great. It's still amazing though, right? That I can literally just sit back and not do anything whatsoever. And the game will play itself out. I just thought that was funny how everyone goes all the way to the other door. And you can just jump here. damage is kind of nuts. Jesus Christ. This is how you play Elden Ring, guys. This is how you do it. Look at that. Take notes. And take notes from software. This is what you created. An absolutely balanced game. Without any flaws whatsoever. Praised by many, if not all. For only good reasons. G 
God we play so well. I just want to say, Firekeeper, Yakim, we guys make one hell of a team. Like, seriously, really well played together. I think our chemistry was on point. Okay. Live by everything. He was so close to dying, too. It's the most unfortunate part. We need to focus on this guy. This guy is the range. And he also has much less HP than those. Um, not get stuck. Let's buff up. We almost had him with like... Um, with one Ash of War. Okay, uh, change of plan, um, let's use, actually, let's use the Sight. I don't think Sight would be a bad call here, actually. It's not a bad idea for him to spam that Black Plank Tornado here and there because if I if he lands it, I'm pretty much dead. Like there, if I get stuck on something, I'm dead here. I think this guy doesn't roll. Oh. Thank you, Bleed Proc. <laughs> I'll take it.